Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and I'm back in Light No Sky. Yeah, and I'm heading towards the hub. So the hub is over there. Last episode, I head away from the hub to go see Miyogi, but I know his base is near the hub. He flew up to go and give an egg to somebody else. So it's kind of put me slightly off kilter of where I need to be. So let's just ride my pet and let's fly under yonder hill and let's head on over to the hub. So that's where I'm heading. Let's go. Fly like the wind, my little bird, I guess. Right, hey people, and you can see there, my red beacon has just popped up. I just saw a freaking drop pod. Okay. All right, anyway, I'll let you know if anything well, interesting. I came that. across another plaque. So I can't miss that opportunity to get myself a relic. Hopefully I'd select the right option. Oh, looks like I've already visited this one. Dang it! Okay, right, bird. Okay, budget. <laughs> or somebody else has, you know. Done. Okay, go on, bird. Let's go. Yeah. Take to the sky. Okay, chums. Well, I've made it to my base, which is the hub, and I'm going to be using the teleporter to go up to the old station, and I'm going to create a little mini save here and stuff like that. Now, it can be a little bit tricky to get up to this hub because it's quite high up. So let's just hope that my pigeon gets me up there. Yeah. Otherwise, you've got to go around sort of this way and then fly up. There we go. And... Ciao. Oh no, I've missed the opportunity to get up there. Oh no, and I'm going to break my legs. I'm going to hurt myself massively. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. All right, there we go. Yeah, because this is a little bit of a... I didn't really think this through when um, I actually did this originally, people. So here we go. Ground impact nearly killed me. This is why I need a better flying creature. Because that f creature's a little bit cack, to be honest. Right, here we go. Got my shield back. Let's try that again. Oh, come on. I don't want to be messing around here too much, you know? Because, yeah, it is like survival mode. And I could get killed-ocated. Yeah, I didn't think this through, did I, too much? You know, the, the whole getting up there is nail on impossible for um, this little pigeon. Maybe I need to build another little site-to-site -site teleporter around here, people, to get ourselves up there, eh? And there we go. I've got a bit higher this time, but I don't want to risk breaking my freaking legs again if I can help it. Let's see if we can fly against the side of it and see if it just goes up. Nope, he's chose to go down. Come on, go up. Go up. Go up. Go up, damn you. Creature. Come on. Oh, great. Now I'm sort of stuck on the underside. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. Get me up there. Come on. Dang it. No, it's not going to work. Right. Okay. Well, leave this with me, people. I might have to put a little sight to sight teleporter. Didn't actually think about this when I put it okay, there. Okay, well, where I just left off, I decided to just freaking dig upwards. Um, so, yeah. I've, I've made a little tunnel going all the way up to the base, hopefully. But you know what? I might have to put something there for those of you that... Oh, no! Uh, I thought I'd managed to tunnel all the way up. I didn't. Okay, well, that, that plan went awry, didn't it? Let's try again. Now, it's probably letting me do this because I own the base. So if you just walk around the hilt of it for a while, hopefully you're going to find this tunnel up here. But yeah, that, that, that was fun. I mean, you might be able to dig your own tunnel, but... Fudging heck. Okay, where's my base then? It's somewhere up here. It's supposed... Oh, there it is! Yay me! I've made it, people. I've made it. Okay, I might have to build a little mini site-to-site -site teleporter just so you can get up here. Cool, yeah. And there we are. We've arrived. Oh, now my bird flies past like it's easy. Here we go. Grab the oxygen. Right now. And let's teleport up, shall we? 
Ah, I need to power it. So let's go over here then. Put in some biofuel. Don't know why all the text is all messed up there. There we are. Now I can teleport up here. Zoom. Jump up here. Like so. And then I've got to wait for my jetpack to recharge. So I can get up there. Okay. Kapow! And we're there. Lovely jubbly. Okay. Now I can use this to go to the station inside of this system. Oh, would you look at that? There's a load of bases here. I didn't think you could teleport to a base if it didn't have a teleporter. Does that mean that... I mean, I know that I haven't got a teleporter at my own base. But does that mean we can just teleport to anybody's bases whenever we want? Daniel Hipley has got a freaking sack venom farm. That's not good! Okay, let's have a look. What else we got down here? I'd have to do base tours at some stage, people, won't I? Take a look, see. See what everybody's done. Interesting. The Empire. Ah, the Creola Kingdom. Professor Syndical's base there. Yeah, so it does look like when you get to this terminus, you can just pretty much go to any base you want, peeps, which is pretty cool. Oh, there's uh, James MC's base there. Anyway, I, be I better just get up to the blinking portal, better now. There we go. Space stations. And it's this one. Current system, hopefully. Should be this one. This should be it. Corvac system, scientific, peaceful, five planets. That's not this station. Dang it. It hasn't locked in this station. I don't suppose it matters which station you go to as long as you teleport back to a base on this planet, even if it's your own one or this hub one. Okay, I might have to walk back to my own one going to this one. Dang it. That's probably because I didn't put boots on the ground in the station in this system. I put it in the, the system that I jumped to from the portal to get to this system, didn't I? Okay, fun times. Right, hey, well, I've arrived, Decated. So there's a few things that I can do here, but the main thing that you do here is talk to the actual cartography maps guy and exchange nanites for maps. So, um, so I think it's navigational data you have to swap for maps. I can't, I can't actually remember. If I go to Discoveries, let's upload everything. There we go. I've got a load of nanites there. But if I go to the system that I was in, this one here, go to the planet that I was on, I've also discovered all creatures. So I can hold to register that, and I'm going to get a load of nanites. I've now got 3,000 nanites, which is a lot of nanites. Let's see if you can use nanites to buy cartography maps, or whether it is navigational data. Aha, 15 man nanites there. But you can go here... And yeah, you need to use navigational data to swap for these. So as you're going over, um, you know, planets and things, try and find yourself some navigational data. Now, I could get more treasure if I wanted and get relic sites. Or I could go for this to get, you know, some more exosuit upgrade charts. But I need free to, for that one. And again, the artifact one, you need free for that too. So, yeah. I didn't plan that out too well. Technically, I should have been picking up navigational data as I've been flying past structures on planet surface. Now, inside of the actual station, you can find navigational data. Like, there's one there. Look, there we are. But sometimes it just gives you nanites, not navigational data, that it says that it's got in it. So that can be fun. Cool. And sometimes there's server racks that you can interact with up here and things like that. Or um, something you can interact with to get yourself some more nanites. I don't think we're allowed to use the the old uh, multi-tools you find in the station. Yeah, I'm not having much luck with finding navigational data up here. I should have got more navigational data from the actual planet. Okay, right. It looks like Miyogi has entered the system. So if I use the teleporter, hopefully I can go to Miyogi's base now. I hope. He's just appeared, just as I... I needed him to be there, but... Yeah. Okay, right. Um, your bases, all bases. I wonder if I can see Miyogi's. Let's hit, hit other bases. Can I see Miyogi's base inside of here? Let's have a look. He's in my group, so I'd like to hope that I can. Man of God. No, Pete. No, 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 no. 
be nice if you could hit up group members, you know? Vintage, oh, some brew crew. Ah, he's here. Oh, hello. Hello, Miyogi. Cool, I did want to come and see your base, mate. You're looking slightly bigger than normal. Ah, I don't, I don't know whether I've got enough... Well, I have got enough room for him to drop me off something, I think. Uh, there's not much I want to get rid of right now. I'll eat these. Okay. Well, it looks like he's going to go to his base from here. And then hopefully I can go join him at his base. I'll tell you what, I'll okay, see you people. Well, I get... well, I got thrown out of the game. Um, so I'm just going to log back in, see if I can join Miyogi from the main title screen. So there we go. Join friends. Miyogi, Miyogi, Miyogi. There he is, right there. Oh, Professor Cynical's in. Oh dear. He might try and kill us. Luckily, he's showing in normal mode, so maybe he's not on the hunt at the moment. But this uh, is... Hello? Are you alright, Miyagi? Hello, sir. You okay, buddy? I'm just trying to join in. I'm trying to connect in, but it looks like matchmaking services are playing up a bit. It just keeps saying connecting, connecting. Yeah. And I know you've got things to do. I've got it. You know, I've got work that I've got to press on with. So, maybe we're not going to get to do this. And also, you're not at your base, are you? Now. I'm, there within, I'm actually only 30 seconds away from your your house um, uh, on your place is right situated near but not too far away it's on a plateau over a lake oh okie dokie right, enabled enabled yeah, multiplayer is enabled it's not letting me join you at the moment I might just have to go into my save and try and get over to you but I've got to fly to you on my pterodactylian. And I don't know where it's last saved because I was in the station at the time doing a few bits by going through the hub when we convened earlier. I don't know where it's going to stick me back up in the station. All right. OK, uh, I'll see. I'll see OK, Jones. Well, it appears Miyogi's base hasn't actually rendered in. Now, Miyogi not being aligned to any faction and Miyogi just being the master of pets has come to me in his living organic ship. Hello there, matey. Have you got a lovely pet for me, Miyogi? Gonna strip off and get more kind of natural. <laughs> cool. Yeah, well, there's, this is my, that's my look inside of this. I look like a crazed grasshopper, don't I? Oh, so! <laughs> Aha, grasshopper, son. Yes. Did you, did you, did you bring an egg? I, I didn't see it pop up on screen that you've transferred an egg, no? I'm a bit nervous because Professor Cynical's actually in-game right now. If you go to Network and you go to View Nearby Player List, there he is, right there. He's, that, that, he could come and get us any second now. So hopefully, Miyogi's got a pet. He can give me the egg and I can get the fudge out of Dodge. Go back to my own base. Uh, just tell me what you've got. Got one. I got one. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, hatch egg. It says it's going to take another seven minutes to hatch, so I can't hatch it just yet. So what I could try and do is use the teleporters that are at these bases, because this is the hub, to teleport me back to my own base. Oh, it's gave me another one. Thank you, Miyagi. What's going on there? I've got two eggs. Three eggs! Holy fudge! I've created tons of creatures. Oh, OK. Oh, yeah. Cool, yeah. Thank you. It took me about uh, 12, 10, 12 hours yesterday to do them all. Oh, nice one, Miyagi. Well, thank you very much, mate. This is awesome. So amongst these, there's a flying one, yeah? And there's... Because they... Oh, they... oh there we go. Miyogi LNF Bird. Nice. LNF Bird and LNF Dragon. And I think I've run out of space now because people have been giving me treasures and things. Let's just get rid of the Mordite. Oh, and there's another egg that's just come over. It's another... Okay. I haven't got a lot of storage. I'll get rid of my fireworks. Here we go. Don't need oh. them. There we are. All the pride. And we should have a Beaky. Uh, LNF Beaky. Uh, LNF Dragon. LNF Bird. And LNF Mount. Oh, nice. Okay. So there's a mount amongst these. Bird... Bird, bird. Oh, there's a mount. Yes, mount two. Okay, cool. And that's like a, it's like a um, horse, is it? 
looking like the uh, the like no fire horses. And oh, those thank you. It's over the ground. Sweet. Okay, right. Well, I better get back to my base. Thank you very much for these, Miyogi. I will do a hatching once I get back to my base and after the seven minutes pass. But thank you very much for joining us. I can't see your base marker anywhere, mate. It's it's weird, isn't it? This is. I mean, just. For the audience, because I haven't seen it, that's your mount. Oh, uh, oh wow, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh wow, that is very horse-like. Well done, Miyogi. It needs recolouring, but there you go with um, with your uh, your mount, and this goes like the rocket. Cool. One dragon, and then you've got to obviously go, and I've got to go. So, bye, right, so. mate. Cool. Well, thank you, buddy. And uh, thank you again, mate. I'm going to try and get up to this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Is that the bird that you've given me? Jesus. He's massive. Wow. He goes right into the sky. He does. Very cool. Did I activate this one? No, I haven't activated that one. It must be this one that I've activated. I've got two bases here. One because I built it on my legacy save. And the other one I built it on on this save. So... I was worried that if I died and disappeared, the base would disappear. So I built two of them, <laughs> just to make sure that people can see them. Yeah, here we go. Because this is the only base that should have a teleporter in the system. Okay. All right, here we go. And here's my teleporter terminus. And I'm just going to jump back to my own base. Yeah, golly oh. Safety. Lovely. Zoom. Okay, people. So basically, I need to get a load more navigational data to get maps. It's not nanites that you buy nat maps with. I mean, you can buy random maps at 15, 15 nanites a throw. So I could have bought a load of random ones, I suppose, couldn't I? That could have been an idea. Anyway, thank you very much, Miyogi. Pleasure as well, mine. And if you need any modifications to them, let me know. Cool. Okay, dokie. Okay. Well, I will uh, wait until they're ready to hatch and I'm going to showcase them. But thank you for your time this morning, mate. Much appreciated. Cheers, yeah. buddy. Yeah. Bye bye. Is, uh, okay, bye -bye. chums. Well, a good few minutes have passed. So now I need to understand which pets I want to keep, which pets I don't. So let's go into my old menu over here. And let's start getting rid of some of these pets, shall we? Let's go into here. And I don't really want him anymore, so goodbye. Don't really want this guy, even though he was quite cool. And this guy may as well go as well. I mean, his stats were pretty darn freaking great. He just kept dive-bombing the ground all the time. And that wasn't the best. So there we go. We've got rid of him as well. So we've got some pets from Yogi. So let's have a look at the actual mount first, shall we? Let's have this one. Egg is still developing. I've got another eight hours. Dang it. Okay. Well, some of these are ready. The mount isn't. So, here we go. That one says it's very large. That one says very large as well. I think a lot of these birds are very large. Okay. Well, we'll go for one of these. I think all these are exactly the same. All these birds, I think, might be the same. Sadly, the mic that Miyogi was on, I couldn't really hear him all that well. Okay, here we go. And let's just put it there then, I guess. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at the size of this egg. Okay, all right. Holy mackerel. Well, that is big, isn't it? Let's give it some... There we are. Let's have a little ride on this thing. Now, I'm not actually doing any sort of quest at the moment. So I don't really overly want to be in PvP. So let's just get on the bird anyway. Go into options, I go into networking, and I'm just going to put this into no one at the moment for PvP. And yeah, that'd do. I'm not bothered about the game mode at the moment too much. Because I was just testing this bird out. You can barely see me on this thing. Oh, this is freaking mental. Okay, now the only problem with how high up I am on this bird... Is I can't actually see what's on the ground. It's like, but I can see for freaking miles. So it might be better for spotting buildings, but for doing little mini 
sort of like excursions, maybe looking for sack venom. I might struggle to see the sack venom up on this bird. Wow, though, this is cool. All right, how far does he fly? Fast does he fly? I think my small bird flew faster than this one. Unusual, if that is the case. Okay, well, I'm seeing a load of star bramble down there. I'm not really seeing any sack venom. Because I am extremely high at the moment. Yeah, I think my old bird was actually faster. How bizarre. How odd. All right, well, you know, Miyogi did say he might be able to sort of tweak things and stuff like that. But yeah, I think my old, my old bird was definitely quicker than this one. But that's pretty darn sweet, isn't it? Lovely jubbly. I know that the birds that I have previously from Yogi fly a lot faster than that one. Oh my god, and look how high up from the ground I am. I have to turn my air burst very, very timely, or else I'm dead. Phooey! Okay, that takes a bit of skill, and as you can see there, I still broke my legs. Yeah, I think, Miyogi, that bird might be slightly too large. And I've, I've just lost my jetpack abilities now. I'm going to have to find the materials to fix that. Darn it. Okay, it's just ferrite dust. That's fine. Okay, cool though. Very cool bird. Uh, I could give out these to people if they come and visit me to drop stuff off today. I'll give them out anyway. But it, it could be that we might need to get another rendition of the bird. But uh, I know how long Miyogi spent on making this bird so it's a tricky one it's cool don't get me wrong it's a freaking awesome bird but uh yeah maybe a little too big yeah anyways let's head into here then another jobly boom i'll just uh sit here let people drop stuff off to me today i think people Okay, chum, something to mention is we've got the portal code in the bottom left-hand corner there if you aren't already here. It's not too late to join. You can still come and join, people. So, yeah, come on jumping over and join the Captain Steve's brew crew. Now, if you do have difficulty in finding me and finding my base, because this, this, this whole planet is just covered in bases right now, people, um, you can join me by using my friend's code. So I'll show you my friend's code right now. So here we go. And you just go to show no man's friends coat. There it is on screen right there, people. Another way of getting my no man's sky friends code and a good way of making lots of friends on here is to have the no man's sky app installed, people. So the no man's sky app is available on all mobile devices. Chikapow, and all you do is you just go to friends, friend codes. OK, and the very first on the list is Captain Steve. You can probably see that right there. And you can just, you know, show that. There it is there, and big at the bottom, I guess. Lovely jubbly. Awesome, eh? Fantastic app. Put your friends codes on there. It's a brilliant app. Really is. Can't rate it enough. And the guy that makes it, Kurt. Kurt, you're a freaking star. You're a legend, mate. You freaking are. Okay, coolio. So that's that's pretty much that, anyway. Because based in the options, I've put, can join my group, friends only. And the reason I've done that and not put it to anyone is because I don't want somebody that hasn't seen any of these videos, don't know who I am, that's just fired up the game, joining the instance, coming to this planet, not knowing the rules and building some monstrosity. You know, so that's why I've got it as friends only. So to join me in the easiest way, you're going to have to use my friends code. The only trouble is Hello Games have changed matchmaking somewhat. And they've made it now that I also need to have your friend's code inputted. And there's not much way of you getting your friend's code over to me. On PlayStation, I think it just lets you connect. But when it comes to cross-platform, it doesn't seem to connect all too easily anymore, people. Inside of the Viewerverse, it doesn't. So if you are trying to get your way to my base and you can't find me, you might have to go from the manual coordinates, which are on the screen right now and I'm in the way of. So let me just um, remove myself for a bit. That's the actual coordinates right there, people. So it's a plus 6.37 and a minus 146.59. Okay, coolio. 
Hopefully you can find me using those coordinates. But yeah, there's other bases around me. There's quite a lot of bases around me. So if you can't see my base, you might be able to see some of the others that are in nearby vicinity. Like there you go, Myongs. There's also Sonos's, which is at the top of the hill. It's got a massive staircase going up to it. So you're not going to miss that one too, too easily. You know, there's a couple in very close proximity to me. Like that one there. That's really close. And that's Dread Fort of Doom. I'm going to have to do some base tours of these soon, people, because some of these names are freaking groovy. Yeah. Now, because there's quite a lot of bases that are already here, I am having to update, upload my base every couple of days just to keep it relevant inside of the list. Inside of PlayStation, for whatever reason, it only shows the last, like, what, 14 to 20 bases that have been updated. So, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a bit of an oddity, that one, people. Anyway, that's everything. I'll see you in a sec. So, people, the first person in the game was Spotted Badger. And, um, yeah, I was just about to log off and uh, do my own thing. And, yeah, he, he visited, so I gave him an egg. There we go. So, there we are. That's the first person that's come. However, I don't think he dropped me off anything. I'm not seeing any additional treasures in here or anything. Let's go check the old large refiners. Let's see if he's he's deposited anything. Nothing in the large refiners? No. Okay. Nothing there. Okay, fine. Well, um, yeah, I'll just uh, sit back here and work out what's going on. Now, what I can do is I can go into here. I go into networking. What I do is I turn on speech to text translate speech and voice chat enabled there you go i'll put those on for a sec thank you very much spotted badger hopefully it's going to appear inside of the screen over there it should anyway hmm it hasn't dang it all right let's try that again network okay enabled enabled yeah, I've got everything enabled that should be. Voice chat is enabled. That should work. Okay, don't know why the voice interaction things aren't working. There's a lot of things inside of this game that are fairly broken. So Spotted Badger is probably wondering why I'm not sort of going on an adventure with him right now. Well, I'm just going to sit here and go back to being idle for a bit. I mean, I haven't put this video live yet, so there's that. Well, I'll just sit there then, and uh, just take a little hunkering here. I just saw another another person zoom past. That wasn't Badger, was it? Oh, look, we've got another person right here. Let's go see this chap. Who's this? Oh, it is Spotted Badger. Yeah. Okay, right, fine. Go away, Spotted Badger. I'm good. Um, I, I need to just sit and wait for people to come and drop stuff off today. That's all I'm doing. Yeah, you got yourself a free bird anyway. There you go. I'm just going to sit here now and wait. I, you may have noticed, people, that outside of that window, I've actually put a marker. Well, there was a marker when I wasn't in camera mode. Look, the, the landed pilot is still there. If it's still there the next time I log in, something seriously has gone wrong with my trader. And I might not be able to get any X-Class modules, because I think only one trader lands at a time inside of a save. So if that doesn't clear itself, my save might be scuppered. I might not be able to get any more X-Class modules. I might not be ready for combat anytime soon, which could mean that that's really foobard things for me. But there we go, people. It is what it is, isn't it? There's a lot of bugs. I'm going to be doing a video just on bugs that I've come across inside of this whole sort of event. There's lessons to be learnt by myself, Ricey, and also Professor Cynical. But there's also lessons to be learnt, I think, from this, from Hello Games, and perhaps for Light No Fire, as well as No Man's Sky. I've put something on my community tab, put something on Discord, let people know that I'm I'm logged in so people can drop stuff off. There we go. I'll just uh, leave it like that. You know what? I'm not going to just leave it like that. I am going to change my difficulty to normal, just in case, because you never know what somebody's capable of. They might be able to murder me while I sit on my bedroll, mightn't they? So there we go. That's where I'm going to be sitting all day today, people. 
come and drop stuff off to me. Ah, I need to drop off my own stuff, thinking about it, because I haven't got much space. So let's uh, let's put all my treasures into my storage vault. Here we go. Put all of those into there. And we've got quite a lot of treasures. I mean, I could go get some more treasures, but to, I need to find a lot more relic sites and things, don't I? There we go. I think that's about good now. I should have sold that while I was up in the station. That would have given me an extra slot and would have given me some more nanites. And I could have just bought a load of random maps. So if you've got navigational data, you can actually choose the map that you want. If you've got nanites, you can buy random maps. And I should have bought some random maps while I was up there. I should have spent some nanites. But I was thinking of keeping hold of these so I can come across a trader on planet and hopefully buy some more modules to upgrade my multi-tool or even my exosuit to make myself a little bit more capable of looking after myself. Ah, I didn't take the sodium out of my... I left my portable refiner on the go, didn't I? All the way over. Oh, dang. I still need to get some sodium nitrate, so I've got some sodium there, but not a lot. All right, well, I'm just going foraging for some sodium around by my base, and it's not really... Well, it is kind of a quest, isn't it? Because I'm looking for sodium. Ah, hold on. Looks like there's a trader that's just landed. Right behind my back. Let me get to the trader. Ah! Where is he? Where? Where? I can see the marker for the trader. I can't see the trader's ship anywhere, though. Is there a trader somewhere around here, an invisible trader? Well, that's just freaking weird, isn't it? It's, it's showing a marker for a trader, but I don't see the trader there. Oh, look. 28 U's. Well, where is he, then? I don't see him. Well, that's broken, isn't it? Yeah, I'm running around just holding on to square just in case I can interact with this invisible trader. But no, I can't see him. How freaking odd is that? Well, hopefully that's not glitched or else I'd never see another trader ever again, probably. All right, anyway, let's swap game mode then. Because I'm going on a little mini hunt around for some sodium now, people. Sodium. There's some over there. Let's go grab that. Up a chow! Look at that giant staircase going up there. I think that's Santos's base at the top. It is. Whoa, you fudging heck, you made me jump. Okay, yeah, right. Heading over this way. Aya! Sodium. Nice. And we've got two plants. The only trouble is, in survival mode, you don't get as much. But because this is part of the quests to make the hazmat gauntlets, I have to be in survival mode. And technically, I need to put on freaking PvP as well, don't I? It's a shame that when you toggle one, it doesn't toggle the freaking other one, you know what I mean? That'd be nice. Uh, oh, there you go. Now it's fair. If somebody does want to come kill me, they can. Okay, here we go. Oh, we're getting loads of sodium nitrate just from zapping that. That's good. Alright, I think I've got enough, people. I think I've got more than enough. Right, where's my base, then? Fudge and heck, I've lost my base, and it was only two freaking shakes of a lamb's tail away. Okay, well, there's a, there's a little computer here. Have I interacted with this thing? Probably have. Yeah, I have. That's why the marker's not there. I wonder if there's any um, sack venom in nearby Pacinatai, because that's the next thing I've got to do, is go looking for sack venom. There's submerged relic. It's like that. Apart from it's got three stars. If you see three stars, that's your sack venom. Why is it say I saying I haven't scanned a creature? What the blind fudge? I've scanned every creature on this planet. I've completed all discoveries on this planet. Look. And now it's marked out that there's a creature that I haven't found. You're having a you're having a Jeffrey, mate. I've got them all. Well, that's a lie. Okay, right, no, fine. Okay, well, I'm back at my old base. Let's head on in then. I know, right? I need, I need to get more life support modules or something because I'm forever topping up that when you're in when you're in survival mode. Well, now that I'm back in my base, I'm going to go back into options. I'm going to change that back to normal. 
Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that's fine. And then I'm going to go into networking and I'm going to turn on, off PvP. No one. There we go. Right, now I'm ready for people to just hand stuff into me. But before I do that, I'm just going to get this installed. There we are. Now I've got my hazmat gauntlets. So I think I'm doing pretty good, people, when it comes to all the sort of stuffage. Now I will give, whoever gets here first, I'll give these away. The only one I don't want to give away is that one. That's, that's for me. I'm going to have that one. And there's three birds that I can give away. The first to get here will get three... Well, I get one bird each, you know. The first three people to come, they will get the birds. Anyway, let's have a look at my old storage container. Oh, fudge your neck. Let's get that charged up. Yeah, all the text is buggered on that, isn't it? Right, let's check my main storage container. And there we go. That's what we've got in there so far. Ah, I might as well put that in there as well, the sack venom. So I put all the treasure at the top, all the sack venom at the pop bottom. People, sadly, if you put stuff in my treasure chest, do you want to know what happens? It actually appears in yours. <laughs> I don't get to see it. So don't drop stuff in there. And if you do want to drop stuff off and you can't drop it off to me, if I'm full for whatever reason, you can put them inside of here and I will see them because I'm online. Okay, so you can drop them in here. I have set it so people can drop stuff off in my refiners and I should be able to see them. The only trouble is I've got to be online and I think you've got to be online at the same time. So I'm going to be sitting idle. I'm only going to be checking the actual um, save every maybe, I don't know, couple of hours, if that. Every time it goes to Captain Steve, you're going to hibernate. And that's probably when I'm going to check it. So there's a good chance I might miss things. But anyway, I'm going to sit here. And I'm going to wait to see if anybody arrives. Okay, so there we go. I'll just go to camera mode, zoom out a bit. And hopefully, I've got it on the screen up there. Hopefully, I'll see if people come. Anyway, there we are. Done, dilly, and done. I'm going to head on over to my old Discord and um, also my community tab on YouTube. And I'm just going to put that I'm online. If anybody wants to turn in treasure or sack venom, they're fully capable of doing so right now and the first three people that come here to drop stuff off if you come and stand in front of me hopefully i'm going to see you and uh yeah yeah hopefully i'll be able to see you and then yeah little here we go turn on the game image that's what i can see right now that's the view so i'm looking from the kitchen table over at myself so as long as i see you come into this area then um, I get up and I give you a pet egg. If you don't want a pet egg or something, maybe do that emote where you go, no. If you've already got a decent pet and you don't want one of these ones, just let me know. You know. Anyway, till next time, people. Salute to Mondo. I'll be online again on Friday, all day Friday, doing exactly this. So if you don't see me today, come and see me tomorrow on Friday. Okay? Salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. There is a moose, moose, about this moose. Thank you to Moose Gaming. Content creator and a great guy. He does lots of games, including No Man's Sky. Please go give him a look in No Man's Sky. He plays in permadeath with no home. Oh, heck, yes, I think you're crazy, bud. Such an awesome chap. Go and sub and tell him you came from Cap. Thank you, Moose Gaming. From Captain Steve and thank you watchers goodbye goodbye Dad. thank you Moose Gaming from Captain Steve and thank you watchers goodbye.